Yeah, today I'm going to teach you how to install WinSCP on Windows. It's an FTP client. When we use web hostings, then using uh, like WinSCP like software, we can easily transfer our files to our hosting. Okay, now we are going to download. Okay, let's write download WinSCP. It's Windows client on Windows. Official site download WinSCP download. Okay, now I clicked on the software. Now it will be downloaded. The WinSCP 5.19.2 setup.exe. It's WinSCP installer for Windows. When downloading will complete, then we start executing this. It's an exe file. So we can just double click it and start the execution. You can wait till installation complete. Failed. Okay, resume. Now installation is uh, completed. So show in folder and we are going to, I'm going to double click on this. And we will install this client on Windows. Setup install for all users. It's up to you. If you are a single user or you are the only one which is going to use the system, or you want to install uh, this software for all the Windows user, then click on install for all user. Otherwise, if you only want to install this software for uh, your user account, then install for me only. But I am going with install for all users. Yes. Accept custom installation. When you become expert and you will know that okay what features i want to install or what i want to exclude then go with custom installation for first time and for beginner purpose go with typical installation and it is recommended also next commander install now it is installing the files and in our next video we can connect putty with WinSCP. Launch WinSCP, open getting a started page. I don't need this getting a started page. Okay, if you want to launch from here, then okay. Otherwise, uh, uncheck this and finish the installation. I'm minimizing everything. Okay. This is the WinSCP icon. Okay, I'm going to double click on this. First time, we have to configure our remote with this. Okay. Now it is asking for host name. Host name is your IP address. If you have IP address where your hosting is, IP address of your hosting provider or your server. Uh, let I wish 103.0198.1. Let assume this is my IP address. Port is by default 22. If you have another port, then you can change here. Username. Let my user is other and password. Let A B C D E at the rate one two three four. Now you have to click on login, or you can save this for future use. Okay. So first, I have to replace uh, this credential with the original one, and after replacing uh, these details. I will save that user and then I will click on login and let we will see the hosting. Now click on save site name. Okay. I am giving the site name as uh, my live hosting. You can give your one folder. I don't need any folder. Save password. Yes, I want to save passwords. Create desktop shortcut. Shortcut, it's up to you. Okay, now click on OK. Now it's saved my live hosting. Now I click on login and then it will bring me to that page where my server is, where I host my websites. Okay, now click on login. Let's give it some time. Now it asks me to store the credential, SHA credential. 
okay yes now it is connecting and it's now connected with my uh, host 